Hi, I'm Tony Montana. Yeah, I'm here to thank everybody that plugged into YouTube videos. And uh, I'm here to announce that the book is now for sale. You can get pick it up at Amazon, Kindle, Houdini Publishing Company, and soon to be also at Barnes & Noble. And I'm happy everybody enjoyed what they read. The new book will confirm everything I said, and you'll probably enjoy the book more because there's some, some items I did not present on the YouTube that you'll be happy to see. You're going to read in this book how the Chicago outfit ran its business. And one of the antiochs that was very funny that we, we used to consider a lot is because they employed about 5,000 people in the city of Chicago, and they all had to cash their checks at a place called Rush Currency, which is on Rush Street in Chicago, and they charged $2 per check per week. There were no two payments, so two checks a month is weekly you got paid, and they charged $2 per check. Now, if you do the math, that's like 10000 a week, 40 a month, that's 480000 a year. Now, I thought that was pretty clever to pick up almost a half a million dollars on the people you just wrote checks. There's a cute little thing that happened to Tony and I, Borsalino, when we were in Florida. We were staying at the Cadillac Hotel on Miami Beach, and there was a bar downstairs called the El Dorado Room. So that that weekend, uh, the Derby was taking place, and the winner of that Derby was Tim Tam. So that gives you an idea, it was in the 50s. And uh, Tony and I just standing at the bar watching the thing, and uh, in walked two girls, and they were, of course, they were hookers. So one walked on the side of Tony, and one walked on the side of me, and my back was up against Tony's back, and I was listening to Tony's conversation with the girl he was talking to. And they were they were negotiating the price, and Tony said, "Well, there's only one thing I like is I'm, I'm a little kinky." She said, that's okay, I'm in the kink, what do you do? I said, well, you know, I, I like to slap you around a little bit. And she said, that's all right, how long does that take? I said, until I get my money back. Did you like that one? <laughs> that really happened. So as Tony, the, the girls bugged that up, walked out and left us, and I looked at Tony and said, now what do we do? I said, no worries, there's plenty out here. Florida, Florida's got them all over the place. Okay. So, so anyway, the book is out. And it's doing well, and I like your people to also thank you again for what you you got me a good start and a good run in the game, and I appreciate that. The book is out. You can purchase it at Amazon or on Kindle or with Houdini Publishing Company and soon to be in Barnes & Noble. You'll find the book very interesting. It's a story of my life about how the outfit just don't only go around beating people up with baseball bats or killing them. There's more to it than that. The good part are the intricate parts, and I think you'll enjoy this. It's, it's really not a criminal type of a book. It's more into it's more into people, the way they are, what they do for a living, and, and I think you'll really enjoy it. And uh, there's a couple of good stories in there that I'd like to mention one to you, so you you get an idea of what the book's all about. It's a story that happened to me in Atlanta, Georgia, and. Uh, I was tied up with a couple of ladies there at that time, and uh, I went to see them at their penthouse, and they were gone. They were in the New Orleans at the time for the Mardi Gras, which I did not know until I got up there. When I got up to the penthouse, a fellow by the name of Dr. Bob, Bob opened the door. He was watching the Super Bowl, and he says, what are you doing? I said, where's the girls? Well, they're in New Orleans, Tony. I said, okay. I said, come on in. Let's watch the uh, Super Bowl. I said, no, Bob, I'll tell you. I got to go back to my stores because I had some stores in Atlanta. And as I left, that was it. And about 20 minutes later, someone walked in my store and says, Tony, guess what just happened? I said, what happened? He said, Dr. Bond was just shot to death. I said, are you kidding? I just left him. So sure enough, it was true. He did get killed. And about two weeks later, this one kid that used to do all the sh shopping in my stores with his girl came to me and said, could I talk to you? I said, sure. He says, you were lucky a couple of weeks ago. I said, what are you talking about? He says, uh, you know, we were up there to do Bob, and you were there talking to him. And I told the other guy, we don't want to hit Tony Montana. We just got to get Bob. He said, well, if Tony goes inside, we got to get both of them. So somebody was in my corner that day, as you'll see in the book. And I hope you enjoy it.